So, you've decided to play Black Desert. Yeah! Whoa, slow down there, killer. You're not ready just yet. But I've played an MMO before. Well, good. That means precisely What? While Black Desert may appear to be very similar on the surface, if you dig down, you'll suddenly realize you don't know sh But can I just ask questions when I get confused or look at a tutorial online? Sure, but if you ask questions, you're gonna look like an idiot and we're all gonna laugh at you. Do you want that? No. And tutorials often use complicated lingo that will only make it worse. That's why I'm here to dumb things down to your level. What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. Now, normally people would start with something easy like combat or questing, but if you've played an MMO before, you'll probably catch on to these pretty quick. So let's not waste time and get into the real nitty gritty of the economy. Contribution points, let's rephrase that. There you go, that makes way more sense. That's right, in Black Desert, you get to pretend you're an investment mogul as you invest in farms, mines, warehouses, factories, and real estate. Then yank your support out from underneath them with absolutely no warning whatsoever. <laughs> Isn't destroying people's livelihoods fun? Now, you only have a certain number of investment points to go around. However, you can get more by doing quests and leveling up. As your number increases, so does your empire. Which brings us to... Look at this. Just look at it. What the f*** does it all mean? Well, every single icon here is a node. But let's dumb it down. These are your potential investments. As you explore the world, you will uncover new potential areas for investment. By opening your map and clicking on them, you can see what you get by putting your investment points into that opportunity. It could be lumber. It could be potatoes. It could be copper. In MMO terms, this is where a lot of your gathering will happen. You just let others do your work for you while you lay in bed. More on that in a second. But before you can reap those rewards, you'll need to invest first. By clicking on an opportunity, you will see how many points it takes to invest. Of course, you can't just invest in anything you want. You'll need to branch out to that area first, meaning you'll need to invest in every area along the way. It's like social networking, except less stalkerish. And as I mentioned before, since your investments are limited, if you find an opportunity has outlived its usefulness, just pull out and move it to a worthwhile cause like... Another place that you can invest is real estate. By clicking on a city on your map, you open up your potential homes. Each one can be used for several different purposes. It could simply be a home where you sleep, or it could be storage, or it could be a workshop where your workers create tools, or even lodging for your workers. Simply click on a home to see what it can be used for. And much like nodes, <laughs> I'm sorry, investment opportunities, you can't just buy any home. You'll have to connect the house you want by buying all the houses that precede it. To make it easier, the houses you can currently buy are in blue. I should have said that from the beginning. Let's fix that. There we go! Now, I've already mentioned these guys a few times. Much like any boss from the medieval age, hiring slaves is how you get most of your work done. Once you invest in some lodging, simply go to a contractor and purchase some humans. But if you can get them, goblins are better. Does that make me racist? And bam! Profit. And here's the best part. After a long day of hard labor, much like you, they simply need a cold beer and then it's back to work. Man, isn't feudalism great? Unfortunately though, there are some things you'll have to do yourself. Ugh, I don't know who this is more degrading for, me or the cow. Never mind, it's definitely me. Ugh, why can't I force someone else to do this? So, for certain tasks, you're simply gonna have to do them yourself. Cooking, alchemy, and processing materials. This is all you, baby. And this takes energy. It's also what you'll need to upgrade certain nodes. I'm sorry, investment opportunities to make them more effective. Just about everything takes energy, and it is a finite resource, so make sure to spend it wisely. It will, however, regenerate over time, even faster if you're in a bed. Nine out of ten doctors agreed to get enough rest, you should get at least one minute per energy point in a comfy bed. Now I know what you're thinking. Surely that must be it, right? Ha 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 ha! No. So, if you're wondering how you increase your energy level to do more stuff, the answer is knowledge. How do you gain knowledge? Do stuff! 
kill enemies, craft stuff, gather stuff, talk to everyone, do absolutely everything. Also, make sure to give this advice to your kids. It's the only way they'll learn. And if your family is anything like in Black Desert, once they learn enough, you can use them for their energy. So, there you go. That's some of the most important aspects of the Black Desert economy that I've dumbed down so that you can understand. So that's it? Yep. But that seems more complicated than it actually is. Nobody asked you! Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.